Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Koopa TV Live on Facebook. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Elaine Watson, and I'm your host today. I'm really excited about our special guest, nail educator for Koopa, Lisa Wong. We're gonna be talking about Dipfinity today. So, before we go to the footage and I bring Lisa in, I want to announce today's giveaway, which is the Dipfinity Starter Kit. So, you want to join in to win, you go to koopainc.com forward slash pages, click it only one time, enter to win, make sure you go to our Facebook page and like our fake Facebook page, stay in the chat for the entire show and throw us all your questions. That way, you can be in to win at the end. For the rest of you who don't win, it's okay. Everybody's a winner here at Koopa. We have a promo code KTV4 for today's broadcast. You can go to koopainc.com and shop and get 25% off everything except classes, workbooks, parts and services, and hand pieces. So now let's get down to it. Without further ado, I would love to introduce the fabulous, the amazing, uh, and now Cooper <laughs> Educator, Lisa Wong. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us Oh, today. it's always a pleasure to be here I and know. having fun with you, Elaine. Oh my gosh, this is great. I'm loving this. <laughs> I know. And I'm loving the topic today because we, we have what I think to be, and I could be just biased, the most amazing dip kit dip system I agree with on you on the planet I agree it yeah. is a really nice one getting a chance to really work with it and mm -hmm. play with it and see the different things that you can do with it yeah. it's it's pretty amazing and yeah. I love the fact that it's that LED UV cure mm -hmm. so Lisa and I started in the nail industry when we were like five years old and we were around for you know the first wave of dip back in the day yes. you know back in the day because we are only 35, <laughs> 35 yeah we were five when we started and um yeah the cyanoacrylate glue dips i mean you we've been down that road what Chipping. is what are your favorite things about it? oh my gosh the way it chipped off the yeah. color was not stable the change of color mm -hmm. when it hit the sunlight i mean my favorite Let's was the, the burning when you're over the adhesive. Oh, that smell. You know, yes. just the, 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 the tearing eyes. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite part when you're over Sinoac. Oh, and then even better, you go to do a client and your bottle is glued shut <laughs> and you can't open it. You can't it. open it. Everybody has that secret drawer in their nail table with the pliers that you got to pull over. To, oh, no, I was <laughs> the terrible. Them. I was the one who grabbing it with oh, my teeth no. and trying to open oh, it that way. It if was you're in the way chat way and you've busted some dental work, <laughs> trying to open a bottle of glue, <laughs> give us a shout out. Now, Lisa was so great to come in and, and do a demo, uh, quite a few demos of the Dipfinity system. And so that's what we're gonna go over today. And we wanna make sure that if you have any questions, you're heard. So be active in the chat. My job is gonna be to assist really Lisa and make sure she gets all your questions while she tells you all about the steps that you know you demonstrated in order to do the entire system. Uh, so without further ado, let's start with the prep. Let's get this ball rolling and Lisa will talk us through you know just exactly what she had to do in order to prep the nails to prepare for her Dipfinity application. Okay, sounds good. Well, I started out with, as you can see, my model was fabulous. She had beautiful nails to begin with. So um, again, I'm using our Manny Pro Pusher, which I love because it has a great um, curvature to get right up against Almost that cuticle Almost perfect for her line. nail. Exactly. Yeah. It was so easy pushing her cuticles back, mm -hmm. cleaning them up really well. Now, I noticed too, you do like what I do. If you're an e-file prepper, all we do is push back the skin. Yep. There's no scraping. That's it. Because the next step is gonna take care of that. So you're just, just really- Just lightly just pushing back any, any skin that just is in the way. And then, but look at those nails. I and know. And then here I am with the enhancement prepper bit, using that to clean up any excess cuticle that is stuck onto the nail. What speed were you working at? You know, I had just barely clicked it on and just lightly turned it on. That was it. Yeah. So working it was at the very nail. lowest speed. And you can see just real easy going from side to side over the nail. 
and that's the KP60 handpiece. Yes, you have there. I the love the KP60 one. because it fits in my hand very well. I've got a smaller hand and it allows also for my nails to get in the way yeah. <laughs> or stay out of the way. There. Or stay out of but the way. But it's it just, I like that the top port of that part of that shank to mm -hmm. where my fingers fit nicely there. And it's comfortable, it's very lightweight. Mm -hmm. um, I did opt for the Koopa Manny Pro in purple because um, <laughs> nobody could tell that that's like You're my a little bit of a color. fan of purple. Purple, exactly. I love prepping with this bit myself personally because of the size of it. I, I find diamond, the diamond prepper bit to be smaller than, than say the fine sanding band, which a lot of our educators do for their prep work. Too. I like it too. So you're like me, you like to have, see more of the nail and less of the bit. I think you were the one that kind of got me into doing more of uh -huh. the, using the diamond bit and prepping with that versus using the sanding bands. I, I really like that so much better. And then I just grabbed my brush and just brushed off any excess dust that was left behind. Mm -hmm. So I have my first question. It's more, I think, for me than you. Well, it is for you too, I guess. Uh, Elisa Schmidt wants to know if the KP60 is smaller than the other hand piece, and it is. The KP60 is our newer hand piece to the family and it is smaller and more lightweight. The KP55 is just a titch bigger and a little heavier. I actually am a fan of the KP55. I have long fingers and so for me it kind of counterbalances really right. If you ever come to the Orlando show coming up or if you were at the Pasadena show, I was using um, our aqua blue, I call it the Tiffany hand piece and control box. I think it's, it's Tiffany. And <laughs> the handpiece matches the color of the control box. That's the 55. So, you know, if you're going to be at the shows, come see them and play with our hand pieces and give them a try. It's all a personal preference, I think, more than anything. Just the way it feels, the comfort in your hand, yeah. how you can uh, mobilize and move the product around. Yeah. So It's all about it fitting in your hand right so that you can eliminate, you know, long-term issues with your wrists or your shoulders. You know, the goal of getting a handpiece in a machine is to cut down wear and tear on your body. So you want to make sure you get the one that fits. Ah, prep doesn't usually give us a lot of questions, so I don't have much here. So why don't we go to the next chapter in our show? And Lisa chose to do a tip overlay on one of the nails. And mm -hmm. you know, the last two shows we've done, we've showed a lot of form work. So I think it's great we can show uh, Lisa's steps for doing a tip application. So let's go to the video of tip application. And Perfect. you're going to talk yes. us through it. So I chose a tip that did not have a well in it. So it's a wellless tip, but it had a nice coverage from side to side. So you can actually place that tip where you wanted to. And the nail glue. Oh, yeah. I love our nail glue. It quick. sticks and it's quick. So within five to seven seconds, that tip was stuck on that nail. Mm -hmm. So you need to make sure you put it on straight. Yeah, it does take a little bit of, you know, when you're just starting out, I know it took a while. I find if you really carefully, you have it over the nail before you drop it down and rock it on, you can kind of see it's on straight. Um, really quick, Brittany, Brittany Chin. Hi, Brittany. She wanted to know if the, the bit we used was smaller. Was it personal preference? And it was personal preference. Personal preference. Same grit, 250. Mm -hmm. um, sanding band in fine or enhancement prep. Same right. good prep work. So I went ahead and used our files uh, to, to just take in the sides a little bit. Yeah. I'm really comfortable with using it that way versus using my e-file just yet. I do go back in with the e-file to completely um, smooth out that tip to create it this to look is that more. structured education. Yes, it uh, is. Always, for me in my world, it was, I was, it was always told, work on your parameters first before you work on the overall. And Inside. so you're doing exactly what I wouldn't train to do. Work on the parameters before you head towards that well. Right, and the other thing is too is, I was kind of a latecomer in starting out with e-filing. Uh -huh. So I have a tendency of jumping to my regular boards before I jump into my e-file. I wish I would have done the e-file so much sooner in life, yeah. um, being that I've been a nail tech for all of, you know, too many years. That's mm -hmm. what I'll say. 
But I have but to say, I love it. Koopa still has an amazing shaped hand file. Yeah, I, like I love the, this the, file. Yeah, the angles on the on the shaper. I like that hand file. So I think it's cool that you're showing both because we have both options exactly. if you're a hand filer. So I, I went in and I still stuck with my prepper bit because all I wanted to do was smooth down that line and make sure that that tip was smooth up against the natural nail. Yeah, it blended down It in. blended in perfectly. Time it saving flowed. trick too. You didn't it have to is. change your bit. No, exactly. It was already in your machine. So if you're doing it straight through the way the full set, you would have done all the prep that they've seen and you would have gone right into your tip application and your bit would already be in the machine. Exactly. And I also thin down the tip just a little bit more because keep in mind that plastic is a little bit on the thicker side. So mm -hmm. if you don't thin the whole thing down, then you're going to have that edge bump mm -hmm. at, the, at the end. Mm -hmm. So be careful with that and make sure you just lightly thin it all down. Very good. And get those corners. Those corners are important. You don't want those little flaggy yeah. flyaway corners to still be sticking up there. So Now a lot of people think that, you know, using forms versus tips, like a, people have opinions as to one is better than the other. What is your opinion on using tips instead of, say, forms? I think both of them have their uh, rightful place in mm. the nail industry. Uh, tips are definitely great for those people that have no nail whatsoever on there. Yeah. As you can see, she had natural nail there. I just couldn't bring myself to cutting her natural nail Not down for the to demo. nothing. For Not the for demo. the demo. So I would have done I the same. I left her there, but normally, like with her natural nails, I would have gone with sculpting versus yep. tipping. But in this case, I really wanted to show that the tips can be used mm -hmm. as well with our Dipfinity, and it it looks great and it. Yeah, Works. dipping is definitely, I mean, you, I've done it, by the way. You can sculpt with Dipfinity, mm -hmm. but it is not an easy process, and it's not one you would choose as far as time consuming. The tipping is, tip is the way to go with a dip system, I feel. Right Look there, I also used Beautiful. the buffer so that I took off any excess plastic that was cleaning out the little frayed edges. Frayed edges before yeah. you go in and do your dip. Yeah. Because the last thing you want is some of, some of that to flip up and like attach itself along with all your powders. So, what's your gut on, say, a full well tip versus a no well tip? Like, do you prefer one to the other? I prefer no well or a very thin contact area because even with a full well, mm -hmm. I end up pre tailoring that yeah. and taking most of that well yeah. out anyways. I feel like full wells were an old school nail tip thing to do anyways because. Back in the day, we didn't have the technology of products that we have today. And so, in my opinion, more nail exposed to nail product better than nail covered by glue in. Exactly. And, and we know that, you know, some of the glues that are out there, they they start to disintegrate in yeah. hot waters and chemicals that we're using. So where's that first area that's going to mm -hmm. come off? So the less that is on the natural nail the more, whether it's our liquid and powder or Dipfinity, yeah. however you want to use it, more of the product versus the, the tip, yeah, the, more the nail glue. Bit to it. I've gotten people a little thoughtful about the idea that, you know, sculpting. And so Anita, Anita Hug Jones, hi Anita, I know her, hi, um, is asking, can you sculpt? And I just want to give a little bit more about that. You can. Dipfinity is a UV LED system, and so it's not like traditional cyanoacrylate dips. But I will say, having tried it myself, 100% positive. End result is a beautiful nail, but it's, it's difficult because the form gets in the way when you're dipping in the powder and you can shift it easily, and you do multiple dips before you go in the lamp. Once all of that, you know, nasty business is over and it's, and it's, actually cured and you pop that form off and you get to doing some finish filing it makes such a gorgeous nail but time is money and so you don't want to be doing something that takes a lot of time and taking away from you know your ability to get people in and out quick so do I recommend it not necessarily but it's just one more thing our dip system does that everybody else's doesn't so mm -hmm. it makes it special 
Um, I'm so far, okay, they all know tips, so not a lot of questions yet on this as well. We're, our next demonstration that we're gonna have is on your two natural nail applications. And one, she's doing a full color with some glitter full on Full color. It. And the then, other one yeah. was a full color. Yes, okay. correct. So let's roll that footage, and Lisa will talk us through the ap application steps to doing these two nails. Okay, so I went ahead and applied the dehydrator to really bring the pH balance back, clean up the nails, make sure that there's no oils or anything on the nail. Mm -hmm. It's funny, they're still asking about the sculpting. I will say, I was at home one day and forgot to bring tips home, and let's do that next step. Number two. Okay, number two is the primer. So it's the acid-free primer, which is really mm -hmm. nice. So just keep it away from the skin, and it spreads evenly. So anyways, I had to do a repair at home, had no tips. I was able <laughs> to put a form on and fix it. And now we're going into our third strip step which is the adhesive yeah so a nice thin coat of the adhesive and once we're done applying that we mm. can start our dipping and because this is a UV LED cure when you put the adhesive on she's going to the second nail because she's not worried that it's gonna dry and exactly have to rush nope there's no rushing to it so I'm using Royale which is a glitter and it's, it's a pretty what color? Glitter. Big it's shocker. It's purple. Yeah. Gee whiz. But, she loves okay, purple. Okay, just to let you know, <laughs> I didn't pick the colors. <laughs> I let you my let the model, model pick oh, the colors. So nice. she was like picking them, and I'm like, oh, well, you gave me the perfect colors to pick. Yeah. So, and this has, it's, it's very sheer. You'll see the glitter once we get to the second and third coat that mm -hmm. it really intensifies. Yeah. So now we're going back into our adhesive. Without going to the lamp, I might add, because yes. we do several steps before you actually cure. Correct. Look how beautiful that is. It's really, really pretty. And that first coat isn't moving. And if you notice, too, she's going right back in her bottle. You didn't even wipe your brush. Mm -mm. She just went right back now, in the bottle because it doesn't stick to the no, brush. No, it allows, the adhesive allows the product to really push in and absorb nicely. So. Now I can go back in and reapply and not have, you can yeah. already see the colors. See the, how the color is changing to a darker purple? And then, and then I'll go the, back in. Yeah. I love this color too. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna call it out too. I'm a pink and purple girl too. <laughs> I like the purple. It just looks so So I have Lenise Nelson is saying, is the adhesive like gel polish? Does it pull if you do more than one nail? It is not a gel. Mm -mm. It really is an adhesive. And I say that so many times because for some reason when we say LED UV, people just really wrap their heads around the fact that it must be a gel. So no, all the characteristics that you're used to that you may or may not have fought with with gels are not, it's not the same. But it feels like you're polishing a nail when you're putting it on. So what are you doing with this brush? I'm using the brush <laughs> to lightly dust off any excess powder that's left on the finger. Mm -hmm. Just to really clean it off. And then it also gets off any excess that's on the top that hasn't absorbed properly. Dana Cecil says gorgeous with exclamation points. Yay. On the nail coming out of there. I, yeah, it does pretty. And then minor nitpick. I love this I've name. Always, I, I always I have a hard time name. with that name. I love nitpick. Mm -hmm. I think it must be an East Coast statement. <laughs> it must be. So again, applied my adhesive and I'm flipping her over and dipping. These trays make it so much easier too and it allows to be able to put a little pressure on the nail to allow mm -hmm. the powders to, to really push, push into the into adhesive. The, adhesive. the flip exactly. and dip is pushing the powder into the adhesive as opposed to when you sprinkle or dive in, you're really just adhering powder to the surface of the adhesive. So the great thing about this product is when you press in, you push it in, it feels like more like an acrylic nail when we're done. It does. Especially finished filing. So you're doing your next coat. Anita Hug wants to know, can she buy open stock and yes? But I will give you all the trick that the starter kit at its reduced price is so much better of value and it's full sizes. 
that even if you bought everything open stock, you're paying so much more. Just keep buying the starter kit. But buy the starter kit, and then you can also add in to yeah, all your add other in colors. Some triptych colors, which yeah. by the way, too, are triptych powders. Because we're not using a cyanoac-related adhesive, they have benzoyl peroxide in them, which means you can use the triptych powders with our Dipfinity uh, monomers. Mm -hmm. You can use it with the, I mean, the Divinity monomers, <laughs> the Dipfinity adhesive, and you can use it to do 3D. They're just multi-purpose. They are, and what I love too is the fact that the stability of color yeah. It does not change. Some yeah. colors have a tendency of washing out later on yeah. or after it's been in the light. Um, they fade. These ones do not. So yeah. that makes it just an extra bonus for us. So now you're going into the Back in, LED UV. Into the, yep. And curing if you, all those If you coats. haven't followed along, she did three, three layers and then cured. And that's acceptable. You wouldn't want to do more than three, because then you're risking not curing all the way through. Three is pretty much my threshold and the product threshold. Right. Now, what I'm doing this here is I'm using a little bit of the adhesive and just lightly painting it on the end of the nail, taking the brush and flicking a little bit of the Royale over the end to give you the ombre effect without being overly extensive. Mm -hmm. So um, just lightly allowing it to fall onto the nail. So I'm getting some good questions. Dana Cecil says, about how long do you think a manicure of Dipfinity on natural nails would take in relationship to a gel manicure? You know, honestly, I think it's about the same time. That would be my gut, except with a gel manicure, you have to cure your base, cure your color, cure, cure your color, cure your top. Dipfinity, the payout is you cure once, but maybe if you do finish filing. But it's not mandatory. Right. You can come out of the lamp and be done, essentially. And depending on how many layers. You could just yeah. probably do two layers and get away with, if you're doing an overlay, over someone's nails, uh -huh. it's just that easy. But mm -hmm. I could not believe how quick it is to do, mm -hmm. you know, a full set with these versus doing an enhancement. Yeah. And remember too, when you're doing Dipfinity, it's more like putting an artificial nail on the nail rather than just a color. Like I look at gel color as a replacement for polish. It dries faster, um, it lasts better than polish. But when I think about a Dipfinity, service, I'm thinking this is for the client that is maybe a little bit more busy in her life and needs an, e an extra amount of love mm -hmm. or a little extra strength, but still wants them to look natural and nail colored. Uh, Mindy Jones says, uh, oh no, she was answering. <laughs> I almost read her answer. <laughs> I love it when you guys all help each other out and answer questions. It's great. <laughs> I had a whole list of questions ready to go. Elena Hewson says, do you take these off like you would gel polish? Soak off. How do you feel about that? I, uh, yes. It soaks off, it's, but we're an e-file company. Yeah, Why so would we you? just take the e-file and just zip, 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 yeah. and it's gone very yeah. quickly. Yeah. So, you okay. Can. <laughs> Alisa Schmidt says, when using the dip system, do you recommend doing one nail at a time, then cure under the light, or do the whole hand, then cure? I like to do at least the four fingers and cure and then the thumbs. Mm -hmm. um, only because of the way sometimes you angle with the thumb and, and dipping it so that you don't hit the other fingers. That, mm -hmm. That's just mine. And I'm still working with it. It's still, a, it's still always a progress of, of learning. I'm gonna butcher this next name. I'm, I'm loving that I have to do this because it makes me better at saying <laughs> people's names, but Rancherita Nopalina. Oh, this is where I could use your help, Gabby. Um, <laughs> wants to know what brush is that that you were using? I was using the Dipfinity t size 10. Mm -hmm. So, and it's really soft, so it really like gets all the dust off. Um, it's a great liquid and powder brush as well, but mm -hmm. I just, it was so nice and soft and it just worked really good at removing any excess. Uh, Bianca Fier Ferreira, hello, I know her. 
Um, she says, wow, I already do so here in Brazil. It is way better. I think she means the Divinity. I love that comment. Fantastic. Um, another one asking if it soaks off. It does, but it's an artificial system. It's not, you can't expect it to soak off as fast as, fast. as soak off gel. Mm -hmm. You got to remember you're, fi you're soaking off a system. Where's the sign of acrylates? The fact that they soak off so fast tells you that glue breaks down easy. Yes. You know, you don't want a system that breaks down. And guess what? You don't have to soak them off. If you have a client that keeps them on and wants to maintain them, you can fill Dipfinity. So what I would suggest for clients like that is, you do a set using say, Divinity Clear Pink or Cover Pink to do your nail, and then do your layers of um, triptych colors on top of that set. And when it's time to change your color, you just file down to the Divinity Powder and replace it with a new color. Exactly. So you don't have to soak off every time. Yeah, that's another cool thing about Dipfinity is you don't have to soak off. Um, Desidue Nails is asking what bit to file it off, but I'm going to save the answer to that question because we're about to go there after we do one more nail tip application. Uh, Lisa did the tip application, so the next video is going to show you how to do the Dipfinity over the tip. So let's roll that footage and show how to do it over a tip as Lisa explains. And I'll keep watching for your questions, so keep them coming. We'll keep answering. Again, I use the dehydrator, and all you need that on is the natural nail. You don't need that going over the tip. And then number two, the primer. Again, just on the natural nail, keeping it away from the skin, and it doesn't need to be over the tip. Mm -hmm. Number three, adhesive. Now that will go over the entire tip as well. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to get the product to completely apply. Now, I do know, okay, minor nitpick again. Minor nitpick again, I went ahead and used that. For anybody who has a sort of an arch location challenge, you can dip in stages. Yes. Yes, I've seen a lot of you guys doing this, and I do this. If you have somebody who needs arch location, maybe they have a ski jump nail, you don't have to coat the whole nail in dip. You can actually, you know, start at just before the stress location, then a little behind it, and start building up an arch. But she doesn't need it because no, she's got she perfect, had, gorgeous nail. Like, seriously, I was so nervous, and they kept telling me, "Oh, she does. Her nails aren't that great. Her nails aren't that great." Who and when said she that? came, well. Was it John? You know, yes. It's his girlfriend. But John. I think She's because, because she said that it wasn't. <laughs> John they were absolutely is, beautiful. He's looking at hand models all, <laughs> all day, long. day long. And he's comparing her <laughs> hands to hand models. You know what? For realistic She's had a nails, perfect She's gorgeous nails. nails. Yeah. You can so give I went a woman in, a complex, John. Uh, <laughs> two applications of the nitpick. And now I'm going to use the Royale. But I did this one a little bit differently just to try. Mm hmm different techniques. Again, I uh, placed the adhesive just randomly on the end of the nail. Mm -hmm. And we dipped in. So I went ahead and pressed and dipped in there so that it kind of worked its way up. It gave it a little bit more mm -hmm. uh, than actually sprinkling it on. Um, because again, nice. you're pressing so, into yeah. the adhesive than if you were just sprinkling. And there's that nice, soft, fluffy brush. To go ahead and remove a little excess. And that's how you prevent powder from sticking to the adhesive brush. If you can see, your, your brush is clean right there. You've been using that same adhesive for this whole demonstration. And there's no powder stuck to the brush. Because right. you're getting rid of the excess. I love that. And again, I added a little bit more. Brittany Chin, I see your question. She just says, is there any odor with this product? And no, because it's not an evaporative product. It cures in a lamp, so nothing's evaporating. So aside from, I guess, just the, the smell of a powder, and, and if you stuck your nails over the bottle, yeah. but there's no odor rising or in the workspace, it's odor-free. I like that. So yeah, so they're just still taking off the remaining. But this gave the end of the nail just a little bit more coverage with that glitter versus, mm -hmm. you know, just lightly sprinkling it on. Yeah. I love and it. I'm curious. Everybody's helping each other out. Rhonda Rodriguez, who's used the product before, is going, no odor, Brittany. 
Rancherita is so cute. She says, I love this salon. Should have all options for every need. And I agree. I went ahead and used a little bit more. I added a little bit more of the Madame B. Jeweled just ah, on the end. So we got a, a third little coat and just barely on the end because this powder is very intense. So you have to be kind of very quick at it. Otherwise, it can cover too yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah. Madame Bejeweled is, is, a, is a, gosh, it's even, it sticks to skin. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's so fine. So I had to be really careful, but it came out really cute. It just it gave it a little extra mm -hmm. spice to it. Yeah. Anita Hug says, I'm going to keep calling her Anita Hug Jones. It's Anita Hug Jones, but I know her as Anita Hug. And it sounds like I hug need, Anita. I need, I need a, a hug. hug. I know. <laughs> Anita. Um, she says this is a game changer. I, I agree. It's a, yeah. It's different. I love this. Now I'm going in finishing with the, the top mm -hmm. coat. Number four, step four. Number four when cured too is tack free. So if you're going to do finish filing, doing the number four top and then curing also protects your color. So if you're going to do finish filing after you cure, that's when you would do it, yep, which is why you exactly haven't seen her file at all. That's going to be in the next chapter, but she's um, still, I guess, in your brains, think application while she's putting a fourth coat, number four top on. It's because you're going to do some filing. Look at that nail. That silver is really Yeah, pretty. you can really, that silver kind of intensifies and just really pops at the end. Yeah. Wendy Weed says, beautiful work, Lisa. Oh, hey, Wendy. <laughs> See you soon. Dana Cecil, um, one of our NTNA com competitors, who, my squirrel girl, <laughs> she said it looks fun. I, I think it is. It is. Listen, if a, if, if a system can convert me from hating dip to loving dip, it has to be good. Exactly. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Um, Mindy Jones says, what do you think about using the dip powder as colored acrylic rather than dipping? I love it Both. every way. Uh -huh. they, I think it's awesome. It's such highly pigmented, but strong. Um, and you can do 3D artwork and ombres. All yeah. sorts of all sorts I think of if you're, ha you know, listen, it's the real, wor real world. If you have to buy powder to use for your dip system and you need different powder to do your acrylic system, it gets to be pretty expensive for a salon to do multiple systems. But how do you stay competitive if you're not offering all these options to your customers when they come? You're just going to break the bank buying all these different powders for different systems. You should have one that works for everything. And it works. It works great. Oh, Desi Doonail. She says the dip system that I was using made me hate dipping. When I would file the nail, it would shave off certain areas and take the color off. So frustrating. I feel like dipping is inconsistent. Do you feel like your system is better? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see when we go to finish filing with the adhesive pressing that powder in, it feels like an acrylic nail. It does. It feels exactly like an acrylic nail. And the other thing is too is you've got to keep in mind a person's nails and how they look. If it's somebody that has a ski jump nail, you're going to have to add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And maybe two coats of the top coat would work to give you a little bit more room to mm -hmm. file without hitting the powder. I so did a that's another Facebook thought. Live, I don't know, a few months ago where I did a comparison on camera of the Dipfinity system being filed versus a traditional. I covered all the labels because I'm not about hating on anybody's brand, but I covered the labels and I showed a nail being made with the traditional system. And one of the things I found was, you know, in realistic time that the spray or the brush on hardened kind of like a shell. And if you're an e-filer like me, like you, or like our customers, when you go to e-file, you kind of break through the shell Real and quick. then get stuck in something softer in the begin in the middle. Yep. And I, I, I think that's where the uneven filing comes in. You don't get that with the Dipfinity at and all. As well as the absorption of product mm -hmm. into, because it, it almost feels like a powder, but almost a um, gummy powder. Yeah. A gummy powder effect versus ours because filing it's already an artificial nail. Yeah, it's it's like filing an artificial nail. It's just it's um, finished all Dana the way. Dana Cecil says, listen, I've been a dip hater. I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> uh, with Koopa on board, I'm definitely interested. 
which she had a typo and then fixed it. So I had enough time to read the fix. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt the same way. That was my first project when I came into Coupa was Richard and I talking about adding a dip system to the company. And I'm not going to lie. I went, oh, please, why? Why? why are we doing it? Yeah. So you know what? In this day and age, we should be progressing. We should be a progressor. We should be thinking about how can I take what we have from the 1990s and do it today in a way that is futuristic, better products, new technology. You know, there were some things that needed fixing in it, but you know what? At the end of the day, dip can be awesome. Yeah. I love dip now. I'm a dip fan. <laughs> I'm a convert. Um, I let me just make sure is the number four only what okay. So Lucy Perez wants to know is the number four only when using the Dipfinity system or is it the same as using the non white wipe top coat? Um, while both I are tops and while both are tack free, the Dipfinity number four is formulated to go with the Dipfinity system. Um, I always say as a nail tech you guys like to experiment and if you're going to, that's just up to you. I feel like it'd be okay, but I'm not going to say it. I'm <laughs> going to say it, but I'm not going to say it. She's not um, going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Uh, let's see. Niece Norwood. Oh, here's a cute one. Uh, kind of off the subject, but I used my typhoon bit last night and oh my God, I'm in love. <laughs> I love the off topic comments like that. You want to know, I'm a typhoon still. lover. Yep. So you Those just my touched too. my heart, uh, Niece. Okay, so does he do? Okay, should I do a clear coat of dip on top to ensure no mess ups? Um, I don't know. Let's go back to that question. Does he do? Give me some background on that question. Do you mean no mess ups on your Dipfinity system or are you talking about doing a clear coat on maybe an existing system? Hmm. I'm going to repeat it. Maybe it hits you differently. She says, okay, should I do a clear coat of, oh, a clear coat of dip on the top to ensure no mess ups? No, just use number yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah. Just to use number four. Yeah, and finish with your number four and cure it, and that will do it. Um, let's go to the next chapter, which is getting into filing, because I think that will help break up some of the questions you have going on, and you'll see the visual of what, A, it looks like when we're filing versus a traditional, and you'll see that, that number four top in action. So let's roll that footage. Ah, oh, look at them. I'm going to so, keep looking for questions, so you all hit me while she's talking. I started out with the hand file, of course. Um, this is the buffer one, so it's, it's, it's a little bit squishier, which is really great for getting any excess product off the underneath side. And always make sure, regardless of which file you use, that you always score your edges to make oh sure God, that yeah. they're nice and soft that you do not file <sighs> into somebody's skin. And again, I start out always with my hand file. It's still one of my biggest habits. Um, but you will see me finish off with my e-file. Don't worry. I tend to grab hand files when I'm doing my dip too. And I will say, even as a pro, you can forget to score the nails and cut a client because I was working on Rihanna once and I <laughs> caught her with my hand file and she tried to blame my e-file. I was like, no girl, I didn't score my edge. Bad time to cut a client. Uh, <laughs> Wendy Weed says, by the way, convert convert me. If Lisa's behind it, I'm down to try oh, it. Oh, <laughs> I love Look Wendy. Look at the power of your opinion. I so to Wendy. save time, you're going to do, like if this was a salon situation, if you're going to do one thing, you'd do it to all the nails. Yes. That's what I she's just go there. right in order and just keep my um, progressiveness going all the way across the mm -hmm. nails first. Does he do nails? Says, okay, just so scared from other dip systems. I don't blame you. Yeah. You should be. It's okay. But listen at the value. Use that promo code KTV4 today because... Uh, you're going to get the most mega ultimate deal on that starter kit that y once you use it, it'll save you money in the future because you'll have a system you're comfortable with and we've made it at a price that you just can't deny. So go for it. Don't be afraid. You're going to love it, I promise. Um, I think that we're going to start it again because they didn't get to the e-file part. Or was it over? I felt like that video, I'm gonna look in my notes, that video was meant to be a little bit longer. 
filing was six minutes long, so we, we somehow fell out of it. So our system only allows us to start over, and fortunately we weren't that far. Oh, we lost it again. <laughs> 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 this is when our poor production team is having a heart attack, I'm sure. Okay, so while we get through what you've already seen, um, I see Rachel has thrown the promo code in there to show you. Um, Margaret Mencia is saying, you guys are teaching this at Premier Orlando, right? I'm a student. Definitely. Definitely. Every one Everybody of our educators at the show has a kit with everything we sell. So if you get the opportunity to sit with any of our educators, they will be able to demonstrate this for you and give you a, you know, a one-on-one while people watch education on it. Um, I love it. Rancherita says, must try, 25% off. Let's order. You, yeah, you can't beat that. You've, you've got to just try it for I'm going to let price. out a secret because we're still waiting to get where we fell off. Um, here's the secret. If you're a live watcher right now and you're watching today, I happen to know that there's a deal going on without a promo code on the <gasps> Dipfinity. <gasps> I know. And I found out that the KTV stack, four, KTV four stacks. So here's my tip to all you people who are watching live, order today. <laughs> Just trust me when I say order Do it. today. Do it. Cause Do you, it. I, the, they're already discounted on the site. And then when you use that code, it's going to just do a better job. Um, so that's my, that's my special nugget for any of you who are actually tuning in today. You get the, you get the ditty. I think we're almost to where we dropped off. Isn't the live TV, isn't this fun? I Everybody's know. Everybody's live and watching and we're all Lucy good. Perez says she needs to get more colors because the products are so much better. I love reading that. Uh, Yolanda Gutierrez is asking to remove dipping products. Do we remove it as we do with regular acrylic? Yeah, yeah, exactly the same. Rough it up a little bit first and then you can use your methods, whether it's to soak in acetone or if it's a saturated cotton ball wrapped in foil. Um, any of those will definitely help remove it. That's that nail. Remember, she did a tip over. So really going down the line, it's like filing all the same. And if you notice too, she does no color on her file. I like to point that out because that number four coat you did and cured it, you're not filing into the purple. No, not She'll at move all. Her file. You'll so see you'll it. see it, it doesn't. If and you're you were, right. I wasn't yeah, even thinking about that. If you that were filing into the file, color, you would have purple on your nail file. All so of you've it. protected the color. You can see your high and low spots and you're able to file down to smooth out the nail. <laughs> Dana. Dana's so funny. Ooh, order today, folks. All in caps. You've got to get your products. Um, oh, Mindy Jones. Interesting. What's the angry faces? She goes, stop with the angry faces, people. Listen, I get it. Maybe other people hated dip, dip systems, too. You really have to get your hand on this one to know the difference. It is not a typical dip system. Listen, Elaine Watson. The nails been in the industry. There's the e-file. Which bit are you yeah, using, are. by the way? I am using the. Um, I'm still using the prepper oh, bit. It's a I no, still love is my. Is that the prepper bit or is that a small barrel diamond? No, nope, that's still the prepper. Okay. Because I'm going right around. Oh, the cuticle. The cuticle area. area. Okay. So. So. I love that prepper bit. It I just do it too. works for for everything. As you can see, I'm using it in several different areas of the nail. Yeah. Not just on the natural nail, but to finish mm -hmm. out, you know, that cuticle line because you can get right in there. So anyways, my reputation's important to me. I'll admit it, I hated dips, hated dips, hated dips. I love this one and it's not just, listen, I get the luxury of being a person with a nail license who gets to make products for a company that I like. So Elaine didn't like dip, Elaine didn't make the traditional dip with cyanoacrylate. I made, I made one I could stand behind. Right. Yeah. And I added a dip category to Nailimpia. You know, as, as the head booth judge, I get to add categories. We added a dip category because I knew if anybody showed up and used this system, they probably would win. And of course, I'm always rubbing the top of the nail. I do that. With my thumb. Seeing, I have you're to see with I'm your skin. seeing with my thumb. Seeing with your skin. I don't know what would happen if I didn't have any feeling. 
on know. my thumbs because I would used to I used to close my eyes and run my thumb over the nail with my eyes shut so yep. I could feel it. I do the same. I think in school though, new students might be going, oh no, she's touching it, but we, we learn not to touch the nail plate, but after product is on, you definitely want to get your thumb in there and feel it. Yeah. Um, let's see. And Lucy, this gets right there nicely in around that cuticle yeah. area too. Lucy Perez says, I don't know why, it's so fun to watch the filing because nothing is better than a smooth surface. It's that getting Isn't to the it? point of seeing that finishing come through is like rewarding. And my big thing is right around the cuticle and down the sidewalls because I'm one of those weird pickers and I jam my nail back by the cuticle line and pull forward and if I can feel anything, yeah. um, that's it. Yeah. I'm gonna end up you picking it off. So I wanna it. make sure nobody else can feel it either because there's nothing worse than that yeah. hump at the very back and feeling like something can get caught in between there. Desi do nails is cute. She says she's falling in love little by little. Yay! <laughs> um, Lency Nelson, are you able to use Dipfinity with a longer tip? You, I'd say if you do, you're gonna have to do more layers. You're gonna have to do more layers, and yeah. I think, you know, just be careful with that because mm -hmm. It's great for natural nails, it's great for overlays. A little bit of length is fine, but I yeah. think overly too much might create some weak thickness. and thickness mm -hmm. to it. So be careful with that. Alicia Schmidt, Schmidt says she's enjoying learning all these tips and education. Dana thinks the angry faces were accidental. I'm going <laughs> with that, Dana. No, but we don't have haters in our no, chat room ever. No, not at so all. I'm Actually, going, everybody's you know always what? helping I've each other out. I've got this great, you know, iPad Pro that is huge, so I could press the buttons without my big old fat finger making a mistake. <laughs> but when you're on a phone, they're all close together. I'm making mistakes all the time on my phone. Um, oh, Elisa Schmidt wants to know if Kupo will be coming out with some soak off gel colors. We keep having discussions about that. I'm not going to answer yes or no, because you never know. Uh, Rancherita, gorgeous. Yay, dip, Koopa, number one, Dipfinity. Yay, <laughs> I love yes, her. that's I love great, her I love that. Yeah, it's awesome. That's perfect. So, I don't have more questions on what they just watched on the finish filing, but I hope as you were watching, you could see that it filed like an acrylic nail. She, she didn't see her di like get in, dig into anything. It really does file down like an acrylic. And if you had to thin it out, you could keep filing. And that texture was going to stay the same through that entire nail, not just, you know, at the, at the surface of it. Right. Um, we're I do, getting hard. I do <laughs> love the fact that once you apply that top coat, the, the number four step, you, you have all that to, to work with. It's, it's mm -hmm. you know, so you can refine with that and make it look perfect and get around those cuticles, sidewalls so that everything is nice and smooth and it turns out to be beautiful. <laughs> this one's making me laugh. Lucy Perez, she's making me laugh. She goes, I have Mie length nails. Oh. I keep messing up on my small phone. Mie is now a term for a length of, of nails. nails. I love it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I hope she watches Where is this. she? Mie yes. Length. <laughs> she Richard needs to even pop put in it there. in there. Mie length. The Mie length. <laughs> it's now a special that's, length. That's for a special any of you length. who don't know, Mie is one of our uh, Koopa educators. She's one of my international educators who's traveled with us overseas now, so she gets the international title. But she was in here a few weeks ago on one of our Facebook lives. But she wears her nails really long. Really so Lucy, long. Lucy's got long nails. And it's been her birthday, so happy yeah, birthday, happy birthday, Mie. Mie. Can't, can't go without saying that. So we have one more chapter to show, and that is how you absolutely finish these nails and what the finished look looks like. So let's roll the footage and see how Lisa finished these beautiful, beautiful Dipfinity nails. All right, so we did the gel top coat gloss. I did gloss on some and um, used matte on the other, oh, one of the yeah. other ones. So I love our gloss. I love the fact that it is a mm -hmm. um, no so, wipe. Yeah. And it is a UV LED cure top coat. And for any of you who are new to the Dipfinity system, number four could be done to do this. You don't have to do the extra gel, but the Dipfinity system doesn't have this. 
the mat. The mat taco. So if you want to do mat, you're going to need our mat, which I'm just going to say is the best mat on it the planet. It is so In the fantastic. galaxy, in, in the mega galaxy of all galaxies, it's the best. And it feels like velvet. Like you keep rubbing your fingers after you've put the mat on because mm -hmm. it has a velvety feel to it. I love it. And again, it's a no wipe. Mm-hmm. Top if, coat. And if you're going to do some nails matte and some shiny, like Lisa did, you can brush on both at the same time, cure at the same time. You don't have mm -hmm. to isolate the nails. Exactly. Alicia Schmidt wants to know if we have a video how-to on ombre with the dip system. Oh, look at the finished nails. Beautiful. Oh, this is the oh, best part. Yep. The and you oil. have to finish up with your harmony. My answer to you, Alisa, is we're coming, Alyssa, is we're coming out with a new how-to video. We're actually having uh, one of our other educators, Phoenix Van Dyke, fly in, and she's going to be doing the videos in a couple weeks. So very soon we are going to have an extensive doing everything on the planet with Dipfinity video. That looks good. And then the great thing about that mat is if you put cuticle oil on and you and you use a towel and wipe off the nail itself, it goes back to matte. You're going to see that Isn't because that I do that. So I actually went ahead and put um, our harmony on all of the nails. And then at the very end, just to make sure that they were nice and all conditioned, I grabbed. I love our harmony oil. A little Jeff pad. Says and it you can see like how, how shiny it yeah. was. Now watch. There it is. Back yeah. to matte, but Anybody yeah, everything is matte all, the yeah, cuticle it just, oil. it's great. Yeah, I love it. It's my fave. I love it. Look, There's no other matte like Look how pretty like that it. was. And you can see just a little bit of that silver on the end on, on the tip overlay. So that was Gorgeous. a lot of fun. There's a lot of purple in there. <laughs> a lot of purple. <laughs> oh, happy day. <laughs> I you know. You got to use your purple. Yes. <laughs> I don't have a lot of, I think most of the qu questions, they're not questions, they're just comments, you know. Well, that's good. Like, they're answering it all themselves. I love. Thank you for not putting me on the spot, you guys. This no, is great. <laughs> I love these kinds of questions. Anita Hug Jones is saying I might have to bring this into my distributor. I, we would love you for that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Desi do nails. She goes, this live was so informative. Hashtag Koopa for life. I love that. By the way, yeah, I think Rachel, we need that one. Yeah, Rachel already made um, hashtag Mie length <laughs> as a as a That's new. That's a good one. Maybe we'll get it trending. <laughs> hashtag Mie length. Um, uh, Alyssa says, I can't wait for that episode on the how tos of Dipfinity. Yes. Uh, Lucy Perez loves the smell of the harmony. It does uh, smell uh, like Skittles. And all of our clients love it too. Yeah, it does smell like Skittles. Um, oh, Yolanda Gutierrez says she's gone eight weeks with the matte top coat on. That's incredible. I, that um, matte top coat is by far the best. Yeah. Anita says she's learned a lot. Mindy says purple's the best color. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, these are great comments. Um, so, listen, I think that's all of our videos. And I want to see, do I have a winner yet? Because Rachel's always on it. I do have a winner. So for the, for the winner of today's video is receiving a Dipfinity starter kit. So one of you is already gonna be really happy because you're getting the best price ever. <laughs> Congratulations to Lindsay Nelson. Woo! Lindsay Nelson, you are today's winner and um, Rachel will reach out to you and let you know how you can collect your prize. And then for the rest of you, you're always a winner. You get to purchase using the promo code KTV4. If you go to koopainc.com, you can use it there. It's not good for classes, not good for the workbook, parts and services are the handpiece, but everything else. And if you're tuning in today, you got my super scoop on running there and doing it now, quick, 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 because um, you're going to get it for nearly nothing. And for the rest of you, if you're watching this and it's after the fact, don't worry. We have decided not to let these promo codes expire. And it's our way of seeing, you know, what videos have, you know, led to somebody going to our, our shop and seeing what you liked. So it's just a little bit of research for us. So don't worry. If you're not watching this live, you still can benefit from that, that code. And make sure that you like us on social media so that you can hear whenever we're going to have any of these. 
uh, videos or any of these lives or anything that Koopa does because we're just busy with content. We have shows coming up. We have all kinds of events coming up. Um, also, you can follow us on Instagram. No, sorry. Well, Instagram is Koopa underscore TV. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and, and <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Koopa Inc. Lisa, how can they follow you? Oh, you can follow me at LPW Nails on Instagram. Yeah. Um, Facebook as well, same thing, at LPW Nails. Thank you so much for joining oh, us. Oh, it's today. always a pleasure. It's always, always fun to come and play at the yeah. office. Lisa's you guys all need to come down here and check out classes the training and the center. training it's center. It's just incredible here. Yeah. And listen, we're here every Wednesday, 11 a.m., so tune in and see, you know, what are we going to have up next? We've got the month planned out, so we have an exciting month. Next week, Jess is going to be in my hot seat. I'm getting on a plane. I'm taking off. I'm going to Estonia. Estonia for Nail Olympia's first Estonia competition. Uh, my other side gig is I'm head judge there, so you know, tune into Koopa. I'm going to be jumping on and taking over our Facebook page and doing some lives from the competition. And um, yeah, so we'll have extra fun. stuff. Thank you all for tuning in. We are always so humble by the fact that you continue to join us week after week. We appreciate and love all your comments and your questions as it helps everybody else who watches these after the fact get their questions answered. And of always, we hope to see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>